Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm back with another video, man. And today's video is on the offensive threat build, man, aka the BP build. So, as you guys know, an offensive threat on 2K20 was able to get contact dunks, it was able to shoot, and it was able to dribble. So, this build will be able to do the same exact thing at 6'4. It gets elite contact dunks, it gets a 94 three pointer, and it's able to dribble. And just to let you guys know, it does not have the offensive threat build name. I, I don't know if that name is on 2K24. You guys can let me know in the comments. But this build is not called an actual offensive threat, but is built like an offensive threat. I just wanted to give that disclaimer real quick. But before we get into the offensive threat build, can we get 150 likes? 150 likes would be insane. Also, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 5.2K, man. If we can hit 5.2K, that would be insane. Also, leave a comment down below if you guys need any help or if you guys have any questions. It doesn't have to be about the build. It could be about anything, and I'll try my best to respond. Now, let's get into the offensive threat build, man. So once you're in the My Player Builder, what you guys want to do, you guys want to click Create Your Own Build. Hand this, you guys go with left, you guys go with right. Pick the hand that you're used to shooting with. Mine is left, so I'm going to go with left. Next is jersey number. Pick your favorite number. I'm going to go with 18. All right, so the position you guys want to make this build is point guard. This is a point guard build. Height, you guys want to go with 6'4". You guys can go 6'3 if you guys want to. I don't know if you get more stats with 6'3". You guys can definitely try that if you want. Because I remember like 2K20, it was like 6'3", 6'2", BPs. But I decided to go with 6'4". But you guys can go 6'3", if you guys want to. Weight, you guys want to keep it the same. You guys don't want to change it. And the wingspan, you guys want to put it down by 2 and have a 6'7 wingspan. Because if we go lower than a 6'7 wingspan, we will lose out on the elite contact dunks. And we don't want that to happen. We want the lead contact dunk, so go with a 6-7 wingspan. So once you're done with that, you guys want to continue. All right, so creating this build, make sure you guys watch the whole video and upgrade the build as I show. Because just one stat can get you a completely different build. And this builder is kind of confusing, and I wouldn't want that to happen to you guys. So make sure you guys watch the whole video and upgrade as I show. All right, so first we're going to start off with finishing. Driving dunk. You guys want to make your driving dunk a 94. If you guys want lead contact dunks, you guys want to go with a 94 driving dunk. And not only do we get elite contacts and pro contacts with a 94 driving dunk, we get all the good dunk packages with a 94 driving dunk. So all the good dunk packages you guys want, the insane ones, even the flashy ones, which I really don't recommend because those get blocked usually. But all the OP, cheesy dunk packages you guys should be able to get with a 94 driving dunk. And we will have posterizer higher. We just got to upgrade our vertical. We will do all the physicals at the end. So stay tuned for that. But look at the badges we get. We get slithery on Hall of Fame, which is very, very good for layups and dunks. We get precision dunker on gold, which will help us with our meter dunks when we want to force a contact. That would definitely help. Bunny on Hall of Fame. Whistle silver. Aerial wizard on gold, which is very good as well. Spin cycle and two step on Hall of Fame. And these two badges are OP. You guys definitely want to go for spin dunks spin layups and like euro dunks euro layups so as you guys can see we get op finishing badges and we can finish very well we won't be upgrading our driving layup or our close shot because you know what i'm saying we have a 94 driving dunk so we should be able to finish pretty well get the dunks that we need a 74 driving layup the slithery hall of fame spin cycle hall of fame two-step hall of fame you guys should be able to get some layups in with no problem so that's all we want to do for finishing and I have a 94 driving dunk, 74 layup, and a 49 close shot. Actually, my fault. You guys want to go with a 36 standing dunk so you can get your driving dunks more consistently. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Because vice versa, you need a 36 driving dunk to get standing dunks consistently. And I think it's the same way with driving dunk. So just to be safe, just to be safe, unless you guys know, unless they fixed it, go with a 36 standing dunk so you can get your driving dunks consistently. I could be wrong. But just to be safe, I will just keep 36 standing dunk. And standing dunk is not a heavy attribute. It's not taking away any upgrades. If you guys just look at your bar at the top right, look, nothing nothing changes because of that. So once you guys are done with finishing, you guys want to go with shooting. Shooting. Three-pointer. We want to go with a 94 three-pointer. And with a 94 three-pointer, you guys know we're sparking down on this build. You guys know that you guys can shoot very consistently on this build. You guys get all the good jump shot bases for your guards. Once you guys are done with shooting, you guys want to go to playmaking. You guys want to start off with ball handle. Ball handle, we will have a 92 ball handle. I wanted this build to be 
fast at dribbling, fast in general when you have the ball in your hands. So we're gonna go with a 92 ball handle to get all the good dribble moves, all the cheesy dribble moves that small guards get, and also to get gold speed booster, which we will get soon. We just gotta upgrade the physicals, and we will get gold speed booster and everything that we need. Oh, sorry, 93 ball handle, so we can get killer combos on gold. We need killer combos on gold. We want to dribble fast. We don't want to be a slow dribbler. We need that killer combos on gold. So go with a 93 ball handle, not 92. And when you're on a small guard, dribbling is essential. That's how you get open on a small guard. And even better, we got a 94 driving dunk, so we can just take it to paint. We can just dribble, hook them, and take it to the paint. But like my small guard that I made, it only has a three pointer. It doesn't really have a driving dunk. So I really can't take it up. I have to look for the three. But this build has an advantage. You guys are able to dribble, go to the paint, or dribble and shoot. You guys have the best of both worlds. Speed with ball, you guys want to upgrade that to 83. This is for both speed booster at the end. You guys want to make sure you guys have 83 speed with ball. Next is pass accuracy. You guys want to make that a 77. I want to have a 77 pass accuracy on this build. And I know what you guys might be thinking, like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing on a small guard and have a low pass accuracy. I feel like 77 pass accuracy is pretty good. I don't think you need a higher pass accuracy unless you are playing 5v5 pro -Am. If you're playing 5v5 pro -Am, yes, it gets a little bit more sweaty, gets a little bit more competitive. Then, yes, you can have an 87 pass accuracy or 90, something like that. But if you're playing park like threes and twos, I don't feel like you need a super high pass accuracy to pass it to your teammates. All you have to do is just make good reads and you guys should be able to get the ball to your teammates. And with a 77 pass accuracy, I'm pretty sure you're going to pass the ball very quickly. Because if my lockdown with a 70 pass accuracy is passing the ball pretty quickly, I know a 77 pass accuracy, you guys will be able to pass it quickly as well. So you guys want to keep it at 77. I wouldn't put it any higher unless you're playing 5v5 pro -Am. If you're playing 5v5 pro -Am, this BP build is kind of hard to make. Maybe you might have to go with a higher height, like 6'6 six, six maybe. But for my small guards that want a BP build, 77 pass accuracy your best bet again a bp always has been like a park build it never really was a 5v5 pro am build e even if you're playing rec i still feel like a 77 pass accuracy is good because rec is not as competitive it's not super try hard but rec you guys can keep it 77 as well but if you're playing threes twos definitely keep it at 77 don't put it higher than that so once you're done with playmaking you guys want to go to physicals because we won't really have defense on this build this is a purely offensive build. This build is a purely offensive build. You have a 94 driving dunk, a 94 three-pointer, and 93 ball handle. You are a primary guard. You are primarily offensive. That's why the BP was called an offensive threat on 2K20. On 2K22, it was able to do everything on offense. It was a threat on offense. And you are also a threat on offense on this build. On defense, I definitely recommend you guys to get a lockdown. Get a friend that has a lockdown build, let them play defense on the point guard on the other team, and you stay in the corner. When you stay in the corner, you won't have to play much defense. If they go for a back door, you can still stop the back door. You just have to play very good on corner defense and keep your eyes in the corner. If you guys do want a build that can play offense and defense, check out my other builds. I have a lot of other point guard builds that are taller, like the 6'6 builds, the 6'8s, the 6'9s. They, they're able to dribble, they're able to finish, they're able to shoot. It's just they're not as fast at dribbling, not as quick, not as speedy as this small guard right here. So once you're done with playmaking, you guys want to go to physicals. All right, so for speed, what you guys want to do, you guys want to go with 86 speed. With 86 speed, we are able to unlock gold speed booster, which is very, very, very important. We want gold speed booster. We want to speed boost as fast as we can. Also, we get hyperdrive on gold. I see hyperdrive pop up when I dribble. I don't know how effective it really is, but if it's popping up, it must mean that it's working. Acceleration, you guys can keep it at 71. I see a lot of comp guards, like my friend Kali, he has a 71 acceleration on one of his builds. I seen, I think I seen an ISO Ninja build with a 71 acceleration. He's a very great YouTuber. He's one of the top 10s. He has a 71 acceleration on his build. But again, that plus is five because he's a top 10. Even those who are not top 10, they keep a 71 acceleration because acceleration doesn't really do much to your dribbling like last year. Next is vertical. Vertical, you guys got to put it to 82. This is very, very important. If you guys want elite contact dunks on this build, you guys have to have an 82 vertical. Please do not put it anything under than this. And also, since we have a high vertical, we get post riser on gold. So we definitely, definitely to get them contacts. 
could definitely go crazy in the paint and get a bunch of posterizers with gold posterizers. And last but not least, you guys want to put your stamina to 99 so we could get a handle for days on gold, man. The handle for days on gold is definitely necessary. We don't want to gas out quickly. We don't want to get tired quickly when we're dribbling. So we need that handle for days on gold. And you guys have like one upgrade left. You can't really upgrade much. So you guys can put up your acceleration, drive and layup, close shot. It's just one stat. So I'll put my pass accuracy to 78 and probably just upgrade my interior just in case I get back door to something. I could probably stop that back door from happening. So I'll put my interior to like a 40, but you guys can upgrade it the way you guys want to. But I'm gonna put my interior up just in case I could get a stop in the paint if I ever get back doored. And I guess I gotta have to upgrade the offensive rebound by one. And I'm a 99 overall on this offensive threat build, man. AKA the BP build, man. This build is fire, especially for a small guard build. Definitely recommend to make something like this. So once you're done with this build, you guys can continue. And you guys are a floor spacing slasher, man. And 2K loves giving this name to builds that have a dunk and a ball handle. If you have a dunk and a ball handle, they're most likely to call you a floor spacing slasher. I wish they had more diversity with names. Like I really wish this build can be called the offensive threat because that's what it is. But floor spacing slasher is okay. If you guys do like this build, leave a like down below. If you guys are going to make this build, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're going to make it. If you guys are going to make this build but change a couple things, let me know what you change. I'm definitely interested to know. And if you guys don't like the build, let me know why you guys don't like the build. Any feedback is appreciated, man. Again, I hope you guys like this build. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a blessed day. Peace.